What's up, everybody? Jay here for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing another uh, Cyber Monday doorbuster break, which is 2019 Panini Rookies and Stars Football. It's a seven box half case break. This breaks number two. If we click on number three, same thing. It's just at number three, it's a different break. So here you go. And again, uh, Cyber Monday doorbusters is buy one of the first 20 teams in this break and get entered to win. Uh, some Cyber Monday packs, top five at the end of the randomizer will win one Cyber Monday pack each and will open it live at the end of the break. And of course, this was a Cyber Monday promo break where we're giving away $1,000 in break credit. So this will be our third break we sold out. We have three more to fill up, uh, including Absolute. So four breaks, sorry, actually. But we're almost there with Absolute down to one and four live. Here you go. This break sold out straight up. Uh, Blum, yeah, just like TJ said, it's pretty much uh, credit on our website. So kind of like a gift card. So Andy at the top of the Cardinals. Last spot mojo, I think it's going to be TJ. Got the New York Giants, so good luck, man. So we're giving away $750 in break credit on our website for whoever comes at number one. If all the breaks sell out, number two gets $150. Number three gets $100. And here you go. Here are the seven boxes that are remaining from the first half or the second half of the case yes exactly so if you win let's say the grand prize we'll send you a code and that code is basically like a gift card you add up your cart and basically yeah if you have enough money to cover as break credit then there you go it's free <laughs> basically yeah so check it out man these are the breaks we need to sell out to uh, unlock that break credit uh, chance giveaway. And we're really close, guys. We're really just going to have to work on the transcendent win a spot breaks, I feel like. Also, guys, I know Nick was about to add it, but um, in the transcendent immaculate random number block breaks, since it is only a 10 spotter and it's a very hefty price one, um... If you grab a spot straight up there, you'll win three uh, entries in that one break. Three entries. So basically, it's like getting three random teams. So there you go. So if you guys want to go big on that immaculate random number block, you have a 1 in 10 chance to win the transcendent spot, and you also have a 1 in 10 chance to claim all the hits out of the box. So good luck. Heath Miller. And it's an autograph. 10 out of 10. Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, there you go. 10 out of 10, nice three color patch and the autograph. Uh, Kenny, we have to sell out uh, James Conner 99. We have to sell out the translucent one box break. Then we can break the uh, Lamar mixer. So since we sold it out straight up, that is going to count as a promo spot. So we're that much closer to giving away some break credit, but we can't break it open until we sell out the translucent. 149, Matheson, and uh, Delvin Cook. So if you want to break open that five box mixer tonight, we need to sell out this. Kill Harry big time to 100. Remember, no round of number block, so every car is going to go to the customer that bought the teams. Matt Breeder for the 49ers. AJ Brown, that should be at a 10. They go 10 to 10 for the Titans. Out of 99. Or sorry, out of 49, DeAndre Hopkins. Houston Texans. I would love for that to happen, Logan. Alexander Mathis, that is just so hard for me to predict that now. <laughs> Even though they still have a chance. But hey, if it works out... I will thank you for it. Juju Smith-Schuster. Wow. Steelers box. 
52 out of 65 jersey auto i'm just gonna do what my wife said have low expectations now if if they lose out then i i'm not i'm not over here breaking my heart again every week if they went out and make the playoffs then guess what i had low expectations and they succeeded them nick Foles. <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do now lorenzo alexander to 50. All right, next one. Oh, you're gonna be here, Blum? Nice. Yeah, National Hobby Shop Day right here, guys. We're gonna have a lot of uh, raffles as well. You you can even win some uh, win some prizes, guys, and not even spend any money. We're gonna have a non-pain raffle and a raffle where you just have to spend a certain amount and you win some stuff. So if you just show up to the store, we're gonna give you a ticket. I think you write your name and your phone number, and if you win, come pick it up in the store. Ooh. Is this what I think it is? It is. It's a Kyler Murray. 30 out of 49 autograph. Going to Andy. Who bought the Cardinals straight up? Chef, this is a Rookies of Stars number two. Tony Michelle, to 99. Oh, you're talking to Mike. Oh, nice. Cameron Hayward, to 35. You got Miles Gaskin, to 50. Ninety nine rookies and stars, Baker Mayfield. That so that's trying to stir up a hot take? By the looks of it, I don't think people do. Cross training to one ninety nine, Riley Ridley. My favorite team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Cross training, Will Greer, to 150. Uh, yes, TJ, all cards ship. So everything's going to be shipped out to you guys. One of the few breaks, but yes, everything ships out. Quinn and Williams. I mean, I said that in number one. Did it say that in number two? Yeah, it says all cards ship and all of them. So yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You got Lamar Jackson. Number to 75. Well, the thing is that you have to really go out there and try to sell them, whether it's on eBay, go in store. I think if you're in it just to flip it and make some money, uh, you definitely have to kind of do the hustling part, as they say, right? Do the work. Some people rather just let it sit there and you never know. It becomes more money later on and easier to sell. But it all just depends on the specific break, sport, player you're trying to invest in.
You know, so it's like everybody that held out on Lamar Jackson didn't sell all of his cards last year. <laughs> People right now are cashing in on him. You know what I mean? So it's just really being patient. You know, obviously, if you need the money, then obviously flip it right away to get some money back. But if you can invest and hold on to certain players. Now, they don't they don't always pan out like, let's say, a Lamar Jackson or something like that. But just like they say, if you want to make money, you got to spend it, right? And that means that uh, sometimes taking the risk on the most expensive teams. But again, that's that's risky. You know what I mean? Right? And like Logan says, it's not to get rich, right? Unless you're a big baller and you're like spending some crazy amounts of money on some big teams. But like Jared says, I know I'm losing money, but I'm having fun. And that's kind of the thing. I think most people that are in the hobby, whether you're buying personal boxes, singles, I think at the end of the day, everybody loses some money, but it's just how you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy losing money, but having fun in this, you're going to like this, right? But... I think even if even someone like me, I doesn't really collect much. I buy a single, I probably already lost money because I won't be able to sell it for the same price. Unless the player just gets hot again or something, you know? But if you're a collector, that's never going to matter to you. If you're in it to flip, I think you're, it's definitely going to matter to you. Deontay Johnson in 99. Steelers box. Or break, sorry. Yeah, I think the one thing with group breaks is that people will say, oh, yeah, you know, you're losing money all the time, blah, blah, blah. But again, th I think this is the fun way, I guess, if you want to lose money. <laughs> right? I guess, like Jared says. But having fun. I think it's no fun ripping open your own personal box. Then chatting with a community on YouTube out of 25 AJ Brown. Having fun ripping the boxes and packs. Because I can't afford a box of, uh, you know... Immaculate, but I can buy a spot in Immaculate and take my take a risk and take a chance. Ty Johnson and 125. Uh, rookies and stars at 99, Dwayne Haskins. Damien Harris to 199. Baker Mayfield. Oh, just a relic. Forty-nine, Jameis Winston. Jimmy Garoppolo to seventy-five. Yeah, because back in the day, I mean, what breaking really is, guys, is just started by by us customers that used to go to a local card shop, Barnum Mitchell to thirty-five, and they say, "Hey, Logan, you know, let, let's let's split up this one box break." Uh, let's, let's let's buy this box. We'll split it. We'll go divisions. All right, we'll go conferences. Hey guys, you guys want to get six more people? And we'll do a random division a box break, or you know what I mean? And it started just like that. But then somebody, well, however long ago it was, back in the like later two thousands, early two thousand tens, decided to try it out, and it was just revolutionary. You know, because not everybody could afford an NT box or exquisite box. But that's how it pretty much started. You know, I used to split boxes with my cousins. I split boxes with friends at the card shop just because, you know, we wanted to be able to afford it, but also be able to get into an exciting box. Box break. But now it's just so much bigger now. Now we're getting into a full case break. You know, transcending case break at that. $27,000 transcendent break, you know. It's just, it's definitely changed. For sure. I think when a lot of people come into our store, they're just like, wow, people still collect? People still like this? It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's so much bigger now than it ever was. Miles Boykin to 99. And then they see the price sticker on some of these autographs, and they're like, what? Someone will pay $200 for that? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's pretty, it's shocking to them. And you'll get all those people that say, how oh, I collected when I was a kid. 
it's just like, well, we never grew out of it. <laughs> you know, we, we continue to collect. Benny Snell Jr. to 25. Steelers. And Steelers, Steelers break. And it's a one of one. Questionable. Phillip Rivers. For the Chargers, Mike Gallucci. Is this it for Phillip Rivers, guys? Yeah, exactly. Keep those guys, especially Juan Soto, like Tatis. Those guys, man, because they kill it. Whew. Juan Soto stuff has gone up tremendously, too, since the World Series. Matt Ryan, uh, <clears throat> Calvin Ridley. Cameron Jordan. I also skipped this numbered card right here. It's Aaron Rodgers. Number 35. It's 99. Jamel Dean. It's 99. David Johnson. Josh Allen is a big one that's going up. It's because the Bills are winning. Basically, guys, your team has to be winning. <laughs> you know, or playing extremely well enough where people recognize how well you're doing, you know? This is a so-called uh, bandwagon type of field where if that player is doing well, they're going to hop on the bandwagon and guess what? Their prices go up a lot. Uh, RG3s are probably not going for a lot, man. I mean, you can look those up on eBay, unfortunately. Oh, that's right, SKS. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one to ha have right now, SKS. Your Bills fans are pretty passionate, too, so. You know, they make the playoffs, man. Anthony's like, Bills, what, what? Bills. <laughs> Bryce Love with the Redskins. Two forty nine. You know what, see Alexander, but guess what? You know, when he first came out, that wasn't the the box of regret, right? <laughs> that was like that was like the, the safe right there. Especially after his rookie year, you know? It's like Jets with that one. But that's, that's how quickly things can go, man. They One day it's in the safe and one day it's in the box of regret, right? <laughs> that's a 99. J.J. Ortega Whitehead for the Eagles. Derek with that one. But it's, that's how quickly it changes. One injury, you know, one losing season just like that. Going to the wrong team, playing horrible. This is definitely NFL ride, not for too long. Not for long, I mean. It's pretty crazy. And Sony Michelle, high octane to 25. Well, with Vince Young, I don't know if he sells well, but maybe some college edition stuff sell well. He's a legend at Texas. Nice patch. One, two, three, four color patch. Out of 25. That's Winston and Ronald Jones. To 99. For the Detroit Lions. 
Greg Olson. Dude, that Rose Bowl game was legendary. Like, man. I remember watching that with my with my family. All USC friends, right? You know, from in LA. But they were so mad, so sad. One of my buddies went to USC, you know, loves football. Uh, loves USC. I, anytime I bring it up to him, he just, he kicks me out of his house. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, he, like, hates Vince Young. There you go. Shot. No, there you go. Get your liner tie. And liner is actually still very popular, too. He's not, not too bad. He still works for Fox, right? So. Reggie Bush. I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. Those USC early 2000s, you know, after Carson Paul with Liner and Reggie Bush, and those guys were just insane. Ryan Leaf on the other way, on the other story though, Arch, <laughs> Jr. Um, uh, I don't know who's, who's I mean, Ryan Leaf's a different story. I don't know. Do people still like him, even though how his NFL career turned out? Because I mean, he was a kid in college. Josh Jacobs for the Oakland Raiders to seventy-five. There you go, Jr. There, yeah, yeah Sean. look at man, Logan. Or no, sorry, Jr. and Logan. There you go. You can sell your your Leafs and your Liners. Wilkins. Obviously not for maybe what you want to sell them for, but at least you can sell them. Chris says, nice one, Daniel Jones, Giants to twenty five. Just put a Lamar rookie on card auto at a 25 or even nine minutes ago and has over a dozen views and two watchers. Yep, that's how it goes. Little Jordan Humphrey to 99. New Orleans Saints. SKS to 99. Miles Sanders. Patrick Mahomes and Sammy Watkins. Duel. Jersey, Chiefs, Jared Stidham for the Patriots. Travion Mullen. Matthew Stafford to 75. 35. Alexander Matheson. Gary Jennings Jr. Use the speaker. All right, guys, last box.
Joan Williams. Patriots. Trying to, Logan. At least an autograph. I pulled a... <coughs> like a Crusade one at 25 but Trying to get the autograph. Excuse me, guys. A five out of five. Look at that. Tom Brady for the Patriots. Alex Carmichael. Terry McLaurin, nice patches out of 25. Washington Redskins, that's Chris. Will Greer, nice patch again. It's time for the Carolina Panthers going to Jerry. Uh, I think Patrick Wall sells a little bit better than uh, Ray Bork. JJ Wyatt of 50. Because you have Habs and then you have Colorado Avalanche collectors. Juju Smith Schuster. Travis Homer to 49. Brett Favre? Wow. Three out of five for the Packers. Two color jersey and autograph. John. That's a nice way to end it. Brett Favre. Mac Wilson out of 35. A lot of low numbered cards here, guys. This is pretty nice. And Dwayne Hatchkins out of 75. And there you go, folks. That was the break. Pretty solid, this Rookies and Stars. Obviously not the most expensive box price. Kind of a little bit on the lower end, but man, a lot of low numbered cards. One of ones popped out of this whole master. It was a pretty sweet case, honestly, guys. Pretty nice stuff. So there you go, guys. Um, so now, let's go to the first 20 customers that bought spots, or 20 teams taken. Here they are right here from Cole and all the way down to Michael Gallucci. Top five will win a pack uh, in um, Cyber Monday, and then we'll rip it open live, guys. Here you go. Dice roll it. That is a five and a three, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight times. Wow, Michael Gallucci, Michael Gallucci, Jeffrey, Sereni, and Michael in the top five. There you go, after eight times. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, TJ. I mean, I only got the little crusade, but no relics or autos, unfortunately. But you do get all the base cards, though. Any inserts, stuff like that. I just remember pulling that crusade to 25. <sighs> all right. Here you go.
Uh, it's supposed to be. Sorry, I can't even see that. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. I'll rip it open from up here. So my glue, you got one, two, and five. And then Jeffrey, you have three, so we're going to do a four. So let's go with you, Jeffrey. Pack three. Good luck. All right, you got DeAndre Hunter and a Kyrie for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, William. No, it's always been low, but it was it hasn't been as low as that. So those are the last two spots we need to fill up straight up. And whatever random number blocks you see on the website, that's the last ones. I think it was like at four, four or five left when it was like random number block two. But I can double check, but... Um, that should be it right there. So if we fill up those two random number blocks in the clear cut, that'll fill it all up. I believe so. So if it was if it was a little low, maybe somebody asked for a refund, maybe. I'm not too sure, but I think it's always been that low. Alright, Jeffrey, there you go. And Serenity with pack four. Uh, you got a Vladimir Guerrero and a Kyler Murray. Nice. Number to 99. So we can break that tonight as well, guys. I know we're trying to fill up the promo breaks for Cyber Monday, but I want to break that cup hockey tonight as well. Three case mixer, guys. Chance at a $50,000 RPA of McDavid if we pull it. What up, Roy? And Mike Gallucci, you have one pack one, two, and five. Let's go pack one first. Nice. Should be doing that break next, Rory. Nice. You got a John Morant and RJ Barrett. Number two one ninety nine. Pack two now. Jordan Alvarez and Kobe Bryant. That is number to 25, 16 out of 25. And the last one, pack five. And it's Mike Trout. There you go, Mike Gallucci. And there you go, guys. This was the break. Rookies and Stars Football 7 Box Half Case Break Pick and Cheat number 2. Number 3 is on the website. 3 and 4 will be from the same master. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We're that much closer to unlocking some break credit codes for Cyber Monday. Uh, looks like Absolute's coming up next. We only have 26, 21, and 9 left. Those are the last three breaks we need to sell out to unlock the Cyber Monday $1,000 break credit code. Let's do it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.